Okay, here we are in geometry class or woodshop class going over the seven essentials of math. I've kind of gone through all the math curriculum from grade two up through pre-calculus and took out the seven key features of math that you have to know to do well in any math class and pretty much any job as well. Number one is measurement. And measurement's key because you can't design anything or build anything unless you have some sort of units of measurement. I'm looking at a ruler here. Measurement's also a perfect segue to fractions and the rest of the other essentials. If I'm looking at a ruler here, I count up how many little marks there are between an inch. There are 16. Every mark is a sixteenth of an inch. So if I'm looking at this mark right here, it is three marks over. So this measurement would be two and three sixteenths. Okay, measurement for measurement we go to fractions and fractions are pieces of a whole. So that's kind of the key to understanding fractions. Pizza, food, anything that's going to be split or divided, anything inches that could be measured as parts of a whole will have a fractional measurement to it. Number three is ratio and proportion. A ratio is one number over another number. So a ratio, if you're mixing oil and your gasoline for your lawnmower, you mix it a ratio of 50 to 1, 50 parts gas to one part oil. If you set one ratio, 1 to 50, say, to another ratio, that is a proportion. So if I have 100 parts gas, how many parts of oil do I need? One ratio equal to another is a proportion. Number four is probability. Probability is also a fraction. Probability is a number of successes over the total. So if I have a deck of 52 cards, what is the probability of pulling out the king of hearts randomly? Well, it would be one out of 52. The success would be the king of hearts. There's only one of them. The total number is 52. So the probability of pulling out the king of hearts from a deck of cards is 1 out of 52. Another example is if I take a coin and I flip it, what's the probability of getting heads? Well, there's only one head and two outcomes, heads or tails. So the probability of getting a heads is 1 out of 2. Number five on the list is decimals, and decimals are the same thing as fractions or probability or ratio. They're all the same. A decimal is a fraction where the denominator, the bottom number, is in the hundreds or tens power. So if the probability of a king of hearts is one out of two, the decimal of that is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 of one. So that's a decimal. Number six is percentage. A percent is really the same thing as a decimal. Um, I take 0.5 and I move it over two places. So rather than a decimal being 0.5 of 1, the percent is 50% of 100. So they're all fractions. A decimal is out of 1. A percent is out of 100. A probability is out of the number of possible outcomes. And then number seven is geometric reasoning. You know, and it's similar, a lot of reasoning, a lot of geometry is using these six fundamentals up above. Measurement, fractions, ratio, proportion, probability, decimals, percent, and then finally geometric reasoning. So if I have a rectangle like this, and this amount is shaded in, what area is shaded? As a fraction, it would be 1 out of 4. As a decimal, it would be 0.25. As a percent, it would be 25%. The seven fundamentals of math, um, knowing these will help in all your math classes and on any job you get.